Hello, friends. Ashley, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's having a granola bar really quick before we go. So before I tell you kind of what we're doing today, well, I'll just do that really quick. We're going to get you what? Uh, oh, where'd you go? Mm. All right, so while Ashley runs to put her garbage in the garbage, I'm just going to start this video really quick, more on a serious note. Um, and I don't think Abby even knows anything about this, but she's here in the front seat as well. So like I said, this is a little bit more of a serious note, but I just kind of wanted to put my thoughts and prayers out to family members of ours. My cousins lost their grandparents yesterday, and I just wanted to send my thoughts and prayers to them and to, there's nothing that can be done. They've, they're gone, but they lived in Colorado, and I guess there are fires there, and my cousin's grandparents, my grandpa, their grandpa was a firefighter in Colorado for a very long time throughout his career, built his home from scratch, and kind of built it with a lot of fire securities, and they even built a bunker, a cement bunker in the basement as another precautionary measure. But with the fires that were going through their area, for whatever reason, and the family doesn't really know or understand, they decided to wait it out in the bunker of their house instead of evacuating. I guess the family members and neighbors tried multiple times to get them to evacuate and they didn't. They were 84, but they didn't make it. The house burned to the ground. They didn't make it. And I just wanted to send thoughts and prayers to them. That's just kind of my thoughts and where my thoughts and prayers are this week. Um, just kind of a horrific way to go, but the family has all said that they left a good legacy and we're just gonna keep going with our day. But Ashley, what are we going to do? Get me new shoes. We're gonna go get her some new shoes. She's in a size at Target that they have only had black ones and gray ones. Right, Ashley? Yeah. And we're gonna try one more time. We just want little slip-on little Ked type shoes for her. I also am gonna have Jason, dad, order some from either Keen or Merrill. We own a shoe store. So there's advantages there. He usually picks up the kid account along with the adult account on a lot of our shoe lines. And he might pick out a pair of shoes for her, but it's gonna take a couple weeks to order it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then Ashley, I thought if we get hungry later, would you wanna go to Red Robin for lunch? Yeah. Would that be fun, a little mini date? Would Abby like to go? Sure. <laughs> okay. Anything for creamy mac and cheese? Okay, someone's not wearing their seatbelt and it's not me. Oh, you're getting ready to go. Okay. Um, I also wanted to go to Marshall's in case we don't find shoes for her at Target. Oh, we also need to find your Halloween costume, AKA like pajama onesie, right? Yeah. The only reason why I'm willing to buy any kind of a Halloween costume today or for this year is because it turns into just a nice cozy <laughs> outfit and that's all we're wearing these days. So. She can sit and do Zoom calls in a onesie outfit, whether it has unicorns or rainbows or whatever, whatever on it. It'll get multi-use, but we'll tell you what their costumes are actually gonna be later. All right, so Ashley, no, you can't run and play in those. We're not going to school. This is what I'm talking about. They only have like, well, this is actually cute. I like this denim one. This is like your jacket. But they have gray and they have black. And, that, and white now. That's just not okay for children running and playing outside. But this is all they have in her size. The black ones wouldn't wear out as fast though. No, but they're ugly. For her, she's like a colorful kid. I know she's got like how many black. colors on. Don't okay, now Ashley, show them your bad. onesie that we found. Oh, it's like a unicorn rainbow onesie. I mean, if there's ever a onesie that's more well fitted for Ashley, <laughs> it's this. Okay, Ashley really wants to put on her <laughs> onesie. But really quick, can you show them what we got at Marshall's? I got these for a friend who's having a baby and she watches our channel, so maybe she knows that these are for her. And I have to send this to her or wait until she can come and visit again. I also got a charging cord. All of our charging cords are dying. It's really starting to get annoying. Okay, what else? Face wipes. Yeah. And, and dry, shampoo. dry shampoo. Normally I get the Batista, is that what it's called? Um, but I'm gonna no, try this, other this one this time. It was cheaper and yeah, I don't use it a ton, so I'm gonna just try a new one. Oh, and I got a rug for Abby's bathroom. It's a bath mat. Yeah, it's just a bath mat. It's like the one that kind of 
dries better, but it's also cushier to stand on. So it's $10 at Costco, $10 here at Marshall's. So it was the same style that I wanted from Costco. Okay, are you gonna put on your little onesie? Mm -hmm. You know I can take it off when we go to Red yeah, Robin, right? I know. We're going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right? Is that okay? Aren't we hungry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if this fits. I think it will. Yeah. The, careful, careful. The size that she showed, like that is her actual size, looked huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was way too long. This is a size six, and she's she's really tiny though. Yeah. What it do you worked. think? It works. Is it too long or too short? No, it's perfect size. All right. <laughs> she loves <laughs> her unicorn. Anything unicorn, anything rainbows. All right. Well, Put your arm on there we go. Are the sleeves like? Are they short? long enough? They're good. Okay. Oh, she has her watch on. That's what it looks like. Yeah. You're too cute. <laughs> this is why I got it for her because she's just so addicted to unicorns and cozy and she's too cute to say no to. She knows it too. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. We just went to a friend's house to drop something off. This hillside here, oh, I wish it would show up better. It's called Poo Poo Point. You can't see it, it's up at the ridge at the top. But it's where the paragliders jump off from. Can you see that right there? Oh, you can. See that paraglider right there? Oh, there we go. Isn't that cool? So you can normally, on a good day, you can see there's one there. Where's the other ones on camera, Abby? Can you well, see them? Oh, I can't really see now. anymore. Oh, he's a back behind the trees over there. So these clouds right there are blocking the jumping spot. It's like a turf spot that they've cleared off. You can see this guy. Where did he go? Oh, did he go behind the trees? Yeah. Uh, usually on a good day you can see about 10, even 20 paragliders going off. Look how pretty our area is. Look at this cute farm. Okay, you're back in your regular clothes for Ed Robin. Okay, we just placed an order for our cookies. You guys, check these out. Look at these. Peanut butter or pumpkin chocolate chip. Chilled Andy's mint with Andy's mints. I mean, peanut butter chocolate chip. Nutella mudslide. Chocolate chip. And, oops, where did it go? And chilled sugar cookie. We'll show you what we got. Those are the selections you can get today. Okay, so I was trying to explain it in there, but we decided we're gonna go down to Crumble Donuts. And you're probably not gonna know what Crumble Donuts are. I tried to show you the cookies in the restaurant there. We're gonna go get them. I did curbside pickup, because my friend has told me that the line can be pretty long if you go in person and have to like order it like firsthand. So our appointment is in a half hour. It takes a half hour to get there. So we kind of have a drive but it's worth the sacrifice. We've had these cookies before when we go to Utah, right girls? Oh, oh I don't know if you had any, did you? I think I might have, but I, we just didn't. I don't know, I got four of them when I got them. I think everyone shared them, you put them in like the... Yeah, yeah. I had so them. we are on an adventure today to just kind of go and explore. It's by the Hopefully McDonald's Chelsea's today. having fun with her friends. It's, it's right, right by the Walmart and McDonald's. Yeah, 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 it's like right there. Right where we know where it's at, but I just have to get anyway. So come along, and we're driving a ha an hour basically Wait. there and back buckle to go up. get cookies. <laughs> yeah, buckle up. Are you really putting your onesie on? She's oh, girl, you are obsessed. Are you just calling me? Was that a, too bad of a drive? Was, I mean, it was cozy. Yeah, <laughs> you were cozy. It was cozy. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just waiting for them to deliver it to our car. We're just, we're 
two minutes past our pickup time, so we're right on time. But they're busy, you know. It feels like two minutes. I'm glad we don't have to go into the store. Just wait here in the car. They're gonna be good. You want to bite here in the car before we head back? Yeah. I think it would be un unfair of me to like not let you have a bite. But I promise you, you're not gonna want more than one bite right now, because they're very, very rich. I haven't had one. In yeah, a I don't long think you got time. to have them when I got them. I think them. I was like really young. Yeah, because I don't think I got them last summer. I think I got them the summer before. No, so we didn't go to we didn't go home this summer. I didn't get them last summer. I probably got them the summer before that. So it's been a couple years. Ooh, maybe that's us. Could this be for us? Well, well done, your window. Ooh, nope, no. not for us. Maybe they're just getting one of them. I don't know. We'll see. Not for us. We'll have to wait for the next one. Thank you. Thank you. You're okay. Thank you. Woohoo! All right. Here's the reveal. Did we get the sugar cookies? Did we get the sugar cookies? It said it was. Oh, oh yeah, they're even did. better than I remembered. Look how huge those are. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Don't. Show them the cookie first. Look how gorgeous. Okay, let me take a picture first before we dive into them. Look how big. Put your hand up next to that chocolate one. <laughs> it's like as big as Ashley's hand. Yeah, it's like the size of Ashley's hand. Okay, Ashley, what do you think? Gum. What one did you try? The sugar cookie one. Yeah. Okay. Should we try another one? Yeah. All right, sorry the lighting is so bad. I'm but this is the it. Nutella chocolate. I'm trying it. Mm. It's good, but the, so far the peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Peanut butter chocolate chip is still butter. And the pink, the um, sugar cookie is good too. You like the sugar cookie one? Yeah. Okay, Just Ashley try the sugar. Ash, Ash, that's a big piece. Yeah, Actually, you can't have that much of the peanut butter one. Mm -hmm. That's okay. oh, that's so so warm. Close the sugar cookie can't be warm because they can't frost it warm. Yeah. But you can get the peanut butter one warm still. Yeah. It's good. Can you hand me the water? <laughs> I literally had what two, two and a half bites, and I'm good for the drive home because <laughs> they're so rich. Too. But it's worth the drive. And just when you think your day is going so well, that's mac and cheese. And luckily, our car came with plastic mats. Also, honestly, I can't get them out right now. I have to pee. It was a long drive. And Jason's on his way home from work, so I'm gonna make him at least help me get the mats out of the car. I'll clean them because it is our mess. Ashley forgot about our food from the store, Red Robin, and stepped on the mac and cheese and just <laughs> popped right out onto my floor. Are you excited to take another bite? Yay! <laughs> They're gonna be gone in like no time. Hello there, I'm gonna call it a night. It's eight o'clock. We went and took Abby and two of her friends to a haunted house, and uh, friends of ours, and they have been running this haunted house on a very COVID style, responsible way, which I really, really appreciated. They've done this haunted house for a couple years now, and felt bad that they felt like they couldn't offer it, because they couldn't have large groups of friends go through, so they set up a website with sign up. Oh, man, they dropped the mac and cheese again. Oh, there's mac and cheese in my car. Totally forgot. Jason had to rush off because he's helping with the haunted house. He's actually like in it. <laughs> he's actually scaring people in the haunted house. So he's all dressed in black and anyway, they set, they created a website and a sign up and you can only have three people go, three or four people go with you at a time and it runs for 20 minutes. So they have like, and then you have to leave the property. They have like nine acres. And so you have to leave the property as soon as you're done with the haunted house so that they never have more than 
I think it's two or three groups of people on the property at any time. So there's one in the haunted house and then in their garage they had like a movie haunted house, like spooky movie playing and they could have the next group go and sit down in chairs there and then the third group would sit um, out in the driveway and have hot cocoa and candy while they waited. So they never had, you know, those more than those three groups of people. But <laughs> as much as she knows, I would have loved to go through and film it and and have a fun, spooky thing. She didn't want anyone to film it as they went through because she wanted to keep it a secret for others that were going to go through it because she's doing it today and tomorrow night. No, she did it last night and tonight. And then they're running it again next Friday and Saturday. So she didn't want it spoiled to anyone else. And I probably could have convinced her to let me do it and then just not post it to YouTube until after the fact. But, you know, I just wanted to help her obey because she wants to obey all the rules. She is a stickler on the, on the rules of all this social, social distancing and groups and all that kind of stuff. So the last thing she wanted was to get in trouble or to get someone sick. So anyway, I'm tired and I just realized I say the clock and I haven't had like anything beyond that late lunch with Abby and Ashley. So I'm a bit hungry right now. I'm gonna just see what leftovers are in the fridge. I don't expect Jason for, I think they're going to like nine or 10. So I don't expect him for a couple hours. I've got two kids in bed, Kaylee up trying to upload PE workouts to her teacher. That's it, we're gonna call it a night and you hope you guys are doing well. We think of you guys often, especially those of you who comment and are letting us into your lives in those small ways, that it helps us to connect with you. So don't hesitate to comment. Obviously, like we don't share your information if it's private, but it, it helps us connect to you guys and it helps us to know what kind of com content you wanna watch. Like I learned you wanted to hear about all things pumpkins. So we did a video about that and, and d different things like that. So we appreciate your comments. And if you guys wanna share this with friends, I don't know, like we need to grow, but it has to, it has to kind of feed through YouTube, if that makes any sense. YouTube has to see that you guys want the content in order to like help it grow, if that makes any sense at all. So if you shared it with your friends that might be able to relate to what we have here on our channel, that'll help it grow. So don't mind if you share our videos with other friends and help them come and join us over here. So I already had a kid out of bed. <laughs> it's only been like five minutes since I put you in bed. I... I'm still hungry, mom. <sighs> Did you get food an hour and a half ago when I left to take her to the haunted house? No. I, <laughs> I don't know why this little twit gets everything she wants when she doesn't obey. You got your outfit today, you got to go to lunch, you got a delicious cookie that I've now hidden. <sighs> it's 8 o'clock, you get a banana and a yogurt and you need to call it good. Cheese, get it out, you get the knife. I'm calling it good. Say goodnight to everyone, Miss Unicorn. No, show me your hoodie. I don't think, we, did we put the hoodie on for them? No. Okay. <laughs> when Daddy saw it, what did he say? Of course it's a unicorn with rainbows. <laughs> Cause that's the only thing Ashley would buy. So give it a little waggle. I wish I had a tail. Yeah. Wish I had a rainbow we tail. Have, um, we'll make a rainbow tail. We, we have one. Yeah, it's a little long and a little wonky. And it was it bright pink. Long. Okay, say goodnight. I'm gonna make you say goodnight to everyone because you're out of bed. Say goodnight. Good night.